Greetings, fellow Sturgeons, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 20 of Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. I think he's waiting for more people to rally. Morbid curiosity? Yeah, I only say that because sometimes the armies will be very stupid and just ride into danger. But he's moving. So we are besieging Kelius Castle over here. That's, you can see, just uh, mousing over his current task. And the Ragnarvad, what are you up to? Traveling to Glintor. I don't know where Glintor is, but I know it's not a town. I do not have any land, no. If we win Kalius Castle, I'll probably be able to take it for myself if I want it. Uh, that would be bound to Kalius and maybe Dariot. Let's take a look. Kalius Castle currently belongs to Cervic. It is bound to Kalius and Dariot. Okay. Building Siege Camp. Now, we have a pretty big army here. 730 is not um, that small. So here, as you can see, Heckard uh, doesn't have a big enough force that he feels like he can uh, counterattack us. I am... Dragonvod, could you, like, scoot our way? He's not. My one complaint of the AI here. Anecdotal intelligence, yeah. Alright, so once you build the Siege Camp... Um, you have to build the siege camp before you can build the siege equipment. And while you build the siege camp, they are building their siege equipment. It's not up to me when we assault at all. It's up to the army leader. And it's also not up to me what siege equipment that we're building. So he's the army leader, uh, which would be... Who started this builder? Um, decided to build a battering ram and, you know... Whether we, whatever, whatever we end up doing is kind of up to him. Oh, and we're being attacked. Okay, so now uh, their party decided to attack our party, and I can either send troops without me or attack personally. Of course, I'm going to attack personally. And this is a, this might be the largest fight to date. Our plan is to remain on the defensive. Oh man. Really? Because, you know, they have the high ground. Is that... That's dumb. I will lead the... Horses. Okay. Ready up. Troops! Stay close! Whoa! I'm all leading the horses because... He, he said he wants to be on the defensive, but that just ain't my, ain't my jam. Ooh, right to the head. Kill them all! Sorry, I ignored you. It's for the best. Rathor the Human Blender. Alright, getting a little surrounded here. But, uh, most of their calves are gone. Don't you charge me. Hey, cut it out. Rather pull back. You know what? I don't listen to you. I mean, I should, but like, you don't pay me. Oh, there goes Lucan. That's one of their nobles. Charge right at the enemy cavalry. Well, you know what? I could do that. But he wants me charging at the right side. And uh, I'm a little tied up. I'll be freed soon. Oh, nice. Didn't actually expect to get that hit. Oh, and then yet another hit. Yeah. 
Charge at left cavalry. Dude, do you expect me to be like teleporting or something? Because you're telling me to be everywhere at once. Blink from right side. Well, I'm already doing that. Charge! I literally don't even have troops anymore. I got them all killed. <laughs> he is issuing so many orders. Charge left, charge right, pull back. Dude, what are we doing? The electric slide? Is this the Macarena? Just chill with your stuff already. Oh my lord. You want me to charge at the center infantry? Yeah. <laughs> you go do it. <laughs> That's stupid. I'm not going to charge into 200 troops. Like, reality check. That's dumb. Oh my god. Note to self. Never sign with Builder. Oop, I probably don't want to be standing here. As long as they're not looking at me. How am I not hitting anyone? Also, who is that Chad that was, uh, he's gone now. I'm at like 5% health, but you want to duel? He, that's a lord right there. That's uh, I don't know who it is, but he's named. Yo, I'm at, at 5%. I'll still fight you. Ow, or, or not, maybe. I got one of the horsemen. Hey, Abixable. Thank you for the resub. You. No, 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 no. Yeah, get back here. At least she stopped issuing the orders. Attack! That's been nice. Two arrows left. One arrow. And I'm out. Let's see if I can't find some arrows out here. Nope. Not a single quiver. That's just how it goes. But it looks like uh, people are committing to this fight. Yes. He's open! Is that a- I hope it's a lord. No, don't go back to your troops. Come on, I'm at like 2% health. Uh -oh. And thunk. Alright, I'm down. How did I do? I killed 28 of them myself. What is going on with his troops? Charge already, you dummy. Builder's a moron, and he's putting the three bowmen out front, while the Valeni and crossbowmen are just pot shotting everyone. A truly genius level uh, tactic here. I was uh, I was pressing left alt to highlight stuff on the ground, but over here. Uh, there was literally only a sword and shield. Which has since disappeared. It's unlikely to find arrows anyway, because there's not a lot of Sturgeons that even use bows, only the Huntsmen. And then Valandians use bolts, so the chance of me getting arrows is pretty slim. And here you can see the reinforcement mechanic. Uh, they got reinforced, and... Oh, there, there's our reinforcements. The reinforcement mechanic is a little weak. 
uh, if you ask me. It's a little weird. Just units appearing out of nowhere. What ends up happening sometimes is that one team is so overwhelmingly larger that they surround the reinforcement area of the enemy army. They are changing the way reinforcements work. Next patch, uh, beta 1.8, where they start, uh, they spawn in at the edges and they spawn in at the safe edges. All right, I'm gonna speed this up. I don't know what's going on, but the little bars at the top say that Sturgeons are winning. And we have won. They took uh, more losses than we did. My individual party took 35, which isn't so bad. All of my companions basically leveled up except for Mito. Fernhard. Wow, you suck. So you are a prisoner. Moriana? Calculating, cruel, and generous. I'll let you go. 81. Uh, I can only take 25. So... There's the 25 I will take. Uh, hitting A transfers as many as you can currently hold. And then in terms of gear, I am way over capacity. But I'll march around slow. It doesn't really matter. Give me those cows. There is a way to skip the battles, yes. You can skip the battles at the start by just sending your own troops and not actually deciding to fight them yourself. So at this juncture, I can either... Yeah, okay. He has decided to leave. So I'm going to march off to go do the ransoming and maybe recruit some more. I'm at my current size and strength. I'm not useful to them. Uh, but I did get riding, so riding skill. We have horse archer. Increase the range damage while mounted by 10%, and mounted archers in my formation do more damage, so more mounted damage. Or mounted warrior. Um, more... Well, okay, let me... Mounted range damage. Mounted melee damage. Pick between those two. I also have a free focus point, and we'll uh, decide to, to spend that in a minute. Or how we'll spend that. Alright, I have a Valanian Lord that is chasing me. I'm gonna back up for some reinforcements. When I charge into them with an axe, it's already overkill. Hey! Who said overkill's a bad thing? I like it. Sturgeons don't have mounted archers. You are correct. They don't. Well, no, that's not exactly true. They actually do. But they're few and far between. So the, um, the hardened brigands here are mounted with um, javelins. So I don't have a lot of them, but uh, technically speaking, they are mounted and they have ranged weapons. Just not bow range, but they have a uh, jab range. But yeah, let people vote however they want to vote. I don't really care. 5k ransom. Alright, that's only a tier 4 sword. I don't think that there was any gear or armor. No, there really isn't. That's worth keeping. Selling off a little bit of provisions because it's just weighing us down. So I got 13k for that, which is pretty good. Wow, I actually got skill points in trade as a result of that. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and level these guys up. Anyone that can will, even though they're not whole stacks. See if I can buy a few more. Did I sell the cow? No, not yet. Uh, I want to buy a few more horses because we don't have a lot of carry capacity here. 
Oh, they have 143 mules here? Okay. That'll work. Carbance. More mule than human. Dear lord. Alright, before I jump back into this fight, uh, I'm gonna need to do some recruiting and healing. Because my army's not ready to take any of them on. Uh, so let's go up to Varcheg and, and that area. How do I rate smithing here? I don't use it, so I, I, I don't rate it. it. Looks like you guys want mounted melee damage, so how am I going to spend the free focus point? And I'll analyze the situation in just a second. Mounted warrior. So taking a look for the free focus points, I could spend it in one-handed or two-handed. Uh, so two-handed could use some, as you can see, I'm basically out of the bonus XP. Uh, for bow, I could use it in control as well, as I'm just about out of the bonus XP there too. Riding, same deal. It would be the last focus point. Athletics has some wiggle room though. Uh, for cunning, uh, I, I don't really know if I could use it in cunning. For social, charm could be uh, benefit or leadership. Uh, I would say for intelligence, it wouldn't really matter anymore though, because stewardship is totally maxed out, and I'm not really engineering, and I'm not really medicining. So, I don't really need to spend the points there. And I, uh... Oh. Dinky. I think Dinky is of age. I didn't... get... the notification of that, though. Yeah, Dinky is of age. Okay. So I'm gonna have Duel Village hang out with Poetic until, uh, Poetic is of age. So that he has a guardian. Um... But uh, yeah, I could take Dinky into the into the army soon, um, and she has a ton of things to level up as well. So instead of like voting for each individual one, I'm gonna have you vote on like what sort of overall this type of troop that you want her to be. There's an arena fight. I'm only at 70%, but that should be enough. The ambassador. Ooh, ouch. He really hit me hard. Sorry, Chaos Engine. Well, this one's easy. Huh. <laughs> Chopped right above his head. There you go. Into the face. No, I don't want to forfeit. Oh, I didn't realize that he was still up. My bad. Okay, me and the stupid spearmen that I've been paired with this whole time. Final battle. The ambassador sounds like a legendary sword. It does, doesn't it? Sort of like, uh, oh, you know, the peace, the peace talks haven't been going well. Let's send the ambassador. Would be, you know, code for let's just go assassinate them instead. Uh, but no one needs it, so I'm just going to sell it for extra prize money, because why not? And my party could use just a few more troops. Aggressive diplomacy. Hey, if it works. All right, that town was tapped. Grinnerog, are you any better? 
And it looks like we're going to go Vigor. So, two-handed learning point. Focus point, I should say. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to recruit all of them uh, over my troop limit because I'm just going to ditch uh, some of the trainees here. Done. All right. I would like to uh, go fetch Dinky. Uh, Dinky's at Epicatria, which is really not that far from where I'm standing. So I'm going to slide down to Epicatria and bring in my sister uh, into the army. Uh, she's probably like 16 years old. Probably had, Well, I don't know if it worked for... Uh, she's 18. Yeah. If it worked for the Starks to send their daughters into battle, that works for me. Keep. Yep. Uh, let's go to the Lord's Hall. And Dinky is in the Lord's Hall somewhere. It's not giving me name tags. Which is annoying. I don't know. She's up there. Uh, Jew Village. Dinky. There she is. Why are they in a uh, Southern Empire or Northern Empire city? I have no idea. It's just the way the game is. Oh, are you really going to make me walk? I took... Oh, no. She's right here. Okay. Brother, it's been a while. Gather all my companions in the settlement and find me. Um... Join my party. There we go. That's what I meant to do. So now I should be at 144 or whatever I was at. Uh, the other thing is, Dinky is probably not going to have good gear. Maybe she will. Oh my god, that shield is bigger than she is! <laughs> Dinky, you look ridiculous. Yep. Well, she's unmistakable, that is for sure. I guess the giant's blood doesn't run in her veins like it runs in mine. Because she lives up to her name. She is... That, that is hilarious. So she's missing some gear. I'm going to buy her a bow and a quiver. Um, and then I'm going to have you all vote on how we're going to equip Dinky. Oh god. There is not a single bow here that she is able to use. Okay, well, let's try heading over to a moor and doing it over there. She's part dwarf. Yeah, I mean, that's it's admirable that she equips that bow. That bow is uh, power to her. So, taking a look at Dinky. She's got um, a ton of free attribute points and a ton of free focus points to level up. So, what sort of fighter should Dinky be? Uh, One-handed, two-handed... Bow, one, one hand, bow, two hand, bow, um, what else? She could also be engineer, because she has the, uh, the int for it, and she started that direction. Or social. So it's kind of an ink. It's not a comprehensive list, but it's as good as I can do. So should she focus on one-handed skill, two-handed skill, bow skill, a combination of one-hand bow, two-hand bow, engineer, which would be focusing more on engineering skills specifically, which she has a lot of room to learn, or something else. Now, we also already have an engineer, but... I could always make that engineer into a governor or something like that. I don't know. Do something with him more productively. She's a shield carrier. Nah, she's going to be more than that. She's going to be more than that. Right? Right, Mr. Yoda? We don't do that to our uh, our own kin. A bow engineer? Yeah, I'll probably do like a combination of whatever wins. So this isn't a, this isn't a, um, a winner-take-all sort of pull. Jeez. All right. You know what? I will give you 
some simple javelins, because I can't seem to find a bow, but I'm sure I'll find one eventually. And my stewardship leveled up again. Holy cow. I've been flying up the stewardship leveling. I think because I'm um, making sure that I have a variety of food available, which is one of the ways to sort of power level stewardship. All right, let's, uh, Vilder, you are traveling to Av. And Ragnarvati is going to point. I don't know what point is. But it looks like the castle's under siege, so I'm going to head back that way. So I've got a full party. Nice. Hey, Joe Robot. Thank you for the sub. And Spurler Perter. <laughs> Thank you for the follow or whatever. Your, your name lacks vowels, so I don't know how to say it. How to check morale? Morale's down here. Uh, the little bird eagle icon or whatever. And it will tell you what your morale is. So my base is 50. Recent events, like victories, gives me plus 6. Personally, I offer plus 3 due to traits and whatnot. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? And then food variety is plus 7. So morale is pretty high, uh, which is one of the contributing factors to my skyrocketing stewardship. That and you all just chose to put a, a focus point in there, so I did. How is this war going? We've been doing a lot better than they have. Nobody wants peace yet, though. There's still blood to shed. I'd like to go after their lords. I have 67k, but I really only make money during war when I take on enemy lords. And... Oh, shoot. Uh, what is... Okay, uh, we're going to make her an engineer with a little two-hand bow and two-handed bow in there, too. So, attribute points for int. Bigger. Oh my god, she's going to be so much better than I am. So many points. Uh, engineering will be maxed out. Bow maxed out. And two-handed uh, extra point. Just let's appreciate how much wiggle room she has to learn engineering. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, little one. You're going to be good in no time. Or bow. Look at that. I mean, holy cow. That is better than I am, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's significantly more wiggle room to learn than even I have. Um, all right. Let's go help the party. Because even... Helping the party, we're still outnumbered, so all the more reason to jump in. Riders! I am going to be in charge of the bows. Sure. Soldier, follow me! Troops, stand apart! Soldiers, move! She uh, can still level and stuff, yeah. So she's like a full-fledged companion now. That doesn't take up companion slot. You can think of it that way. Oh, they're like shield walling over there. Um, so yeah, she's able to level up and gain all the benefits of being a, a party member. And then Poetic will be the same way once Poetic uh, comes of age. He's just a few years younger. Hey, if you don't want to fight me, I am happy to use my remaining 50 arrows circling around you and treating you like a target. Their uh, circular shield walls uh, pretty amazing. Am I using any mods? I am not, but that's in the about command, so you probably already know that. I'm 
getting kind of stuck. When there's nowhere to wind up for a good swing, it's kind of challenging to cut through them unless I go vertical swing. So I gotta remind myself to go vert when it gets uh, crowded. Horses getting out of my way. Okay, don't tell Peter what I just did, but those horses needed to get out of my way. Bonk. Where am I? Ooh, gotcha. Where am I even useful? Maybe, yeah, focusing on their, their cavalry. Blending and cavalry are really powerful. It's probably them and their heavy crossbowmen are the, um, are the meta of their, uh, their empire. Oh, look at all you. All right, you want some? Oh, here we go. One of these guys is a uh, lord, but I think he just got knocked out. Or maybe it's this one. Right, 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 right. Horse, go. I have a hard time telling because all the Belanis kind of look the same to me. I don't know. Maybe he's not a lord. No, it's just a vanguard. Haha, <laughs> he almost made it out. Not quite, though. some reason or another, I could command all troops. Everyone, charge! I'm gonna tell them all to charge. I don't know when I became the captain of this war, but I'll accept it. Yeah, I was ignoring my bow, but they were in a pretty good position this whole time, so it was not a problem. Oh, this should be a lot of damage. Oh no! They shot me in the head. Right as I was about to unleash. You. Get back here. Hey Tusk, what's up, girl? Hi, girl! It's a Tusky! Puppy treats and pet Tusk, I'll do that in just a second. Just gotta make sure these Vlandians know who boss. Oh, there's the meat grinder. I don't want myself a banner knight. No, everyone leave the banner knight. Oh. There we go. Got myself a banner knight. Banner knights are the strongest of a Landian uh, horsemen. Hey, girl. Chat wants you to have some peanuts. If you're just coming in, uh, the stream today was a little delayed because uh, Tusk vomited everywhere. We've been trying to clean her teeth with greenies and I think she wasn't chewing them up well enough and it, she got a little impacted. So. Yeah. She's feeling okay though. Uh, Forum's happy that it showed up. Wow, 11. 11 happy. That's, that's pretty happy. And I didn't capture any of their lords, but I did get a whole lot of uh, prisoners. I almost have room for every prisoner. Almost. Mostly garbage, but it will 
sum up to be a lot of garbage. And then look at the- oh, wow. Alright, so now I know why I became the captain of that war or whatever. All their armies? Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, they, uh, they were all knocked out. All knocked out. I was the- I was the last man standing in that fight. And as you can see, I had only nine of my people wounded, and they had all three of their armies zeroed. Big oof. They are lucky that I showed up. Surgeon Army, powered by copy. I don't think I've ever seen three armies zeroed standing next to one another like that. It's pretty, it's pretty rare. Alright, Ragnvad, please stop marching stupidly. He keeps going between Nevenyansk Castle and Varchek for no reason. And it's, uh, it's driving me batty. Because he's just super ineffective. Yep, there he goes, marching back to Glintor or wherever that is. Dude, you're killing us. We could be doing well in this fight, but you just do not want to commit. And your non-committal sounds like acquittal. I do have a, uh... I do, do have a choice for you all to vote in just a second here. So, it was the stewardship... So it's a choice between foods are more effective, gourmet. Uh, so morale bonus for having a diverse food is doubled, and reduced food consumption for garrisons during siege by 10%. So double morale for food and less consumption during siege, or uh, sound reserves. The cost of upgrading units is decreased by 10%, and reduced food consumptions. Of parties during a siege by 10%. So, reduced cost of upgrade and less consumption during siege. So, the less consumption during siege, the top one, is reduced food consumption of garrisons, the defenders, for siege. And then the bottom one is, I'm assuming, the attackers. Um, but yeah, all right. Those are the two choices. There's the pole. There's the timer. And I'm the only one that can level up. So, Dinky, did you like your first fight? Uh, looks like you were knocked unconscious. So I'm going to guess with no, you didn't. But good on you for, uh, for trying. And I don't even have the horses to upgrade them. Was that what that indicator was? No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of war horses anymore. In fact, I don't have a lot of horses at all. I will buy a whole bunch of, like, sumpters from, um, from here because they're very, very cheap. Like, I'll buy all your sumpters. It should speed up our uh, party considerably. Let's see. Cavalry plus 0.56. And footmen on horses plus 0.09. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, when I said a lot, I didn't mean a lot. I meant a little, but it still helps. Oh, you loser. Just jumped into a castle. All right, I'm going a little deep. I don't want to go so far into their territory that I'm in danger of being uh, encircled. That's that would not be good. This castle has too many defenders for me to alone take it on. Yeah, footmen don't ride pack animals like mules. Correct. That's why I needed the uh, the sumps. Or do sumters are pack animals too? I thought you can ride sumters. Yeah, they're mounts. No, 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 no. They're pack animals. You're right. Uh, okay, well, I'll be on the lookout for uh, horses.
I could try to start my own army. Yeah, I could do that. Uh, there's really not a lot of people that would be able to. The issue with that is it does cost me influence to do it. So unless I could be an effective army leader where we actually take something out, it means that I would just be spending my influence to march around and do very little. But, uh, but I'll do it. So you guys wanted, um, reduced cost of upgrade? Was that it? What? I canceled the poll, but then I immediately ignored the result. Because that's, that's how it rolls. You guys want me to try to take it down? Yeah, I will. I will. Okay, 737 strength. And I am going to form up my own army here. So they take a while to, uh... Oh, Tovir, you too. They take a while to show up. And then, of course, there's the issue with cohesion. You chose the double morale? Uh, okay, good. That's what I thought. I don't know. We'll chalk it up to a lack of, uh... Lack of sleep on my, my part. Okay, we have 250. Oh, great. Nemanjansk is... Ragnarvad, could you just... Okay, yeah. Ragnarvad is going to go defend Nemanjansk, which means uh, that allows me to be on the attack. Good. One more. Thank you for gifting out a sub. So, Vola Volkava is two days out. Oh, you too. I'm just going to use all of my influence here. Now, I would like to take a town, but I don't think it's reasonable to. I think it's more reasonable to take a castle. Because the, the Valandian towns are a little bit too deep. If we were at war with um, Batania, and I could take Carbanth or something like that, like or, uh, or Sianon, I would. But trying to protect Rovalt in future battles, if I took it, is... Just unlikely that I'd ever be able to keep it because it's uh it's so deep into enemy territory. All right, I hope Ragnarvad wins his fight because if he does, it puts me into really good position to take Kalius's castle or Kalius castle. So I'm gonna start um, besieging it, and I am going to put my sister into. Uh, the position of, um, engineer. Because you guys wanted her to be engineer. So, although she's not good at it yet, dinky that is, um, she's gonna be training for it. It's entirely possible to actually fire duel the engineer. Um, once dinky becomes better at it, and just get a different party member, uh, to replace the engineer that we have. Alright, alright, Ragnarvad did win. That's good. Cohesion is staying up. And as a result of me being in the party leader, my leadership is going to be climbing uh, pretty highly as well, which is good. Still waiting on the reinforcements, though. Here's Volkava. And then... Tovir and Zarika are coming in, and they are... Five hours out, and six hours out, so they'll be here very soon. All right, let's start putting together siege equipment. I am going to build trebuchets, because I like trebuchets. And here's the last two. Bada-bing, bada-boom. Uh, one thing to note is... Dinky's engineering is 18, so we'll keep an eye on that as this battle progresses. And what I'm doing here is I'm building the trebuchets, but so the trebuchets don't have to fight three catapults at once. The moment I build the trebuchets, I'm putting them into reserves, and then once I have enough... Uh-oh. Sorry. 
See, this is why I was reluctant. All right, there goes the last of my influence. Because, yeah, they have a giant army coming to, uh, just, oh, okay. Yep. Actually, I think you should surrender. So we fight. Yes, we do. So we're outnumbered about by 200 or so. Yeah, and and this is why um, I generally don't roll into my own armies unless I think that there is a reason to do it because uh, to be blunt the AI is kind of crummy and get themselves into trouble. So Lek, Tovir, Nave, no, I'll put Mino or Roosevelt and then Forim Okay, so I, I don't have any of my own people as um, as captains. I'm using them, so I don't have to do much of the controlling. Everyone! Go! Soldiers! Loose formation! Form a line! Hold fire! Troops! Fire! Troops! Stand apart! Soldiers! Forward! Soldiers! Move! Troops! Form us troops! Forward! Soldiers! Move! Alright. Big battle. They are committing to the fight. Yeah, they did not turtle at all, so I'm not going to turtle either. Oh my lord. Come on. The There's a bit of a frame rate difference when you've got a thousand troops fighting at once. And it makes swinging a little bit different. All right, looks like I need, they need help over here. Time to cut through you. Oh, that's the leader right there. I can see his little shiny crown thing. And I think he is one too, yeah, that's Vartan. It was Vart, uh, the Ramen. Out. All right, that's Vartan. If I could get over to him, yeah, I think he just booked it. I don't see. Ow, ow, ow! Crossbow. I don't see where he went. This is just some poor squire that's getting smushed. Chaos Engine, thank you for the resub. You have been uh, doing well in the arenas, making it uh, to semi-finalists or quarter-finalists. No horse for you, or life. Yeah, there's a lot of swings here that normally would connect, but because of the frame rate change, I am just not connecting. Kyle, thank you for the resub. All right, they're on the outs. We did it. We just need to resolve the last few and we can continue our siege. I did uh, rally in more troops to make the siege a little bit easier. And I earned a quarter of the loot. It's not amazing stuff, but you know, it, it'll work. You're still here, huh? You must not be feeling well. 
Now, we have a lot of backup coming, so I'm gonna go straight into another siege. Thank you for tuning in to Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord, which originally streamed live on Twitch June 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video I have a link to Discord. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com also has my stream schedule and countdown timer to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.